Hello students, welcome back to our class, a warm welcome to everybody. In the previous class we discussed about arithmetic progressions of grade 10 and what are all about arithmetic progressions, the torn concepts given in arithmetic progressions in our CBSC curriculum and um, what is the nth term of arithmetic progression and how to derive that as well as some two n terms of arithmetic progression and some applications of nth term as well as some two n terms of arithmetic progression. So, in this module we are going to discuss a few set of problems are the applications of nth term as well as some two n terms of arithmetic progression right. Okay. See here some problems are given like this the very first one is if a n is equal to x plus y by x minus y into n plus x square plus 1 where x comma y are real numbers and of course, x is not equal to y then what is find common difference of this arithmetic progression. Hope I am clear that if a n is equal to x plus y by x minus y into n plus x square plus 1 where x gamma y are real numbers and x is not equal to y then find the common difference of this arithmetic progression means this is the nth term of arithmetic progression according to the given problem this is the nth term of arithmetic progression. So, if this is the nth term of arithmetic progression then what is the common difference. See when you observe the formula for nth term of arithmetic progression we discussed in the previous class that a n of an arithmetic progression would be of the form something into n plus something where p comma q are any two real numbers and common difference of this arithmetic progression is coefficient of n. So, coefficient of n what is the coefficient of n here it is the coefficient of n is equal to p. So, common difference of this arithmetic progression is equal to coefficient of n which is p. In our arithmetic progression what is that arithmetic progression a n is equal to x plus y divided by x minus y into n plus x square plus 1 this is in the form of p into n plus q right. So, therefore, what is common difference of this arithmetic progression therefore, common difference of this arithmetic progression is equal to what is the common difference common difference is d which is equal to coefficient of n what is coefficient of n here that is x plus y divided by x minus y. So, this way we can easily find out what is the common difference of this arithmetic progression when nth term of arithmetic progression is given right and coming to the next problem <coughs> the next problem is going to be it is something interesting if m times if m times the mth term of an ap m times the mth term of an ap is equal to if m times the mth term of an ap is equal to n times the nth term n times the nth term then prove that then prove that its m plus nth term its m plus nth term is going to be 0 this is what the problem given. If m times the mth term of an ap is equal to n times the nth term m times the mth term of an ap is equal to n times the nth term 
then we need to prove that it is m plus nth term is 0. So, in order to prove this m plus nth term of 0, then what is the information given m times the mth term of an AB. So, if you want to consider mth term or nth term whatever it is first you should consider what is the first term and common difference of arithmetic progression right. So, let first term a 1 is equal to a and common difference common difference is equal to d of an a p and now according to the given problem according to the given problem what is given here m times the mth term m times the mth term means m times the mth term means a m is equal to n times the nth term means n into a n m times the nth term equal to n times the nth term. See we know what is the formula for mth term of an arithmetic progression right. So, mth term of an arithmetic progression is m into mth term is going to be a plus m minus 1 into d is equal to n times the nth term. So, n times the nth term is 